Hi everyone, I'm doing a little bit of maintenance on the PAX 2. Um, let's see. All right, the PAX 2 is is not a not a very difficult item to clean. On the bottom here, this is the oven door. You just it's kind of a rocker system. You just rock it to one side or the other and it pops open for you. It's held in place by magnets. Um, so it's, it's, so it does a great job of staying in place. Opening up the, the oven door, here's a little bit of, of cannabis still clinging to the lid, the oven lid. It's kind of, kind of sticky because that's, uh, you know, it's, it's heated up and there's, um, it just, it gets sticky in there. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I had to get some tools so that I could clean this out. Inside the little oven here, you can see right up against the door, the cannabis is a little bit greener right here, but that's that's totally understandable because the oven door itself doesn't get hot, and that's going to be the coolest place in there. So anyway, I'm going to clean it out here. We'll see what we got. Okay, and you can see that the the inside of the oven there is getting kind of toasty, a little bit of residue on it. So, I'll clean that out. And the PAX 2 comes with a nice little handy cleaning kit. Um, it's just a bunch of pipe cleaners and, and some isopropyl alcohol. So, we're going to go to town on this thing. Uh, in the top here, you take off your mouthpiece, and that needs a little bit of cleaning too. And you can see right here, the air path, because of the mouthpiece, the air path is right there. It's flowing this direction, and you can see it's kind of sticky right there. We'll, we'll clean that up too. So, uh, this is the air path, and it goes straight through. So that's why a pipe cleaner does such a great job. Um, let's see here. I'm going to open that up. Get I'm just going to moisten this a little bit. I don't need a whole lot all over everything. All right, it's moist. I'm going to send it through, and it's just a straight shot through there. And the isopropyl alcohol is going to help loosen things up. And as I'm shoving it th through here, I'm going to knock the screen off. And these are these are are fairly rough pipe cleaners, so they'll they'll knock things off and and get uh, get your air path plenty clean. Yeah, we picked up a little bit of stuff on there. And up here at this end, I'm going to kind of gently swab around a cotton swab would probably be a whole lot nicer for this i just don't have any in the house right now all right and it's as simple as that you're 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 really just you know knocking off a little bit of resin that's accumulated from from your from your uh, whatever you're vaporizing. Okay. So you can see I'm getting some color off of it and, and the color is depositing onto that pipe cleaner. And it's always a good idea to wait until after your device has completely dried all of your uh, all of your isopropyl alcohol evaporating away you want to make sure that it's all gone before you try to use your vape because it would not be nice 
to be vaporizing isopropyl alcohol along with your cannabis. That would not be fun. Uh, let's see. This is the screen. And the screen is solid. It's it's a uh, it just sits in there and keeps you from inhaling a lot of ground cannabis. But it doesn't have to be beautifully clean here. The color is just fine. It, it's what matters is these little ridges around the um, these little ridges around the edge of the screen. These little ridges is where the air passes the screen in order to get to the air path. This is what keeps your canvas from coming into your air path and you sucking it down. All right. And really, we're just we're just making sure that the ridges around here aren't getting too gunked up. And we'll put this back inside. You want to make absolutely sure you don't lose your screen, because that's what's keeping your keeping everything where it ought to be. Um, let's see. I'm also going to clean this a little bit. And this is cleaning. You, you you can get really physical with this stuff. Uh, you know, some sometimes cleaning something means you're just physically knocking knocking some excess gunk off of it. Whereas here we're we're using a solvent, isopropyl alcohol, to melt it away. But anyway, so that's taken care of that. Um, put this back on here. Let's see. I like it. I like it this direction, where where I've got the mouthpiece on the back side, because when I'm vaping with this thing and I'm I got it up in my mouth, I can that way I can see the the light indicator over here showing me whether it's still uh, st still sitting on green or if it's cranked up and and giving me some heat. So there is cleaning. The packs too. It's that simple.